met a boy the other day who really had a sort of an angel all of his own. He was a kind of an angelic looking kid, but he started to tell me about his own private religion and his own special kind of protection. Do you believe in God? Yes. What does he look like? I don't know what he looks like, but I know what my guardian angel looks like. What does your guardian angel look like? Well, she has wings. Oh, did you ever see her? No, you don't see a guardian angel. But mommy has it, my mommy has a picture. Of the guardian angel, you lucky son of a gun. She protects you. Yeah. Could I get any a guardian angel? I don't think I have one. You always have one. Everybody has one? Yeah. How do you find out who it is? It's a lady because I have a picture. And it's true that you have a guardian angel. She's right close to you. Like, she's as close as this to you. Right there. Come here, guardian angel. <laughs> is, is there any men guardian angels? No. Only women guardian angels? Yeah. Did, did you did you ever get any help from your guardian angel? Did she ever protect you? Tell me one way so I'll believe it. Well, I was gonna get a cut when I tripped, you know. Yeah. And I didn't get one. And she must have saved you from it. Does she have a name? No, it's the only name, guardian angel. She beautiful? Her hair. Oh, that sounds great. And then, of course, no matter where you go, you feel so safe. Is your guardian angel helping you now? <laughs> All right, now watch this. Here's a job for your guardian angel. See this? I'm about to give you a punch right in the nose. Will your guardian angel help you? You sure? <laughs> Aren't you afraid? <laughs> no. Here it comes. Here it comes. <laughs> Boy, you are protected, aren't you? <laughs> you lucky son of a gun. Yeah. Give her my best regards, will you? <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll tell her. How do you do it? You, th you go like this, you yeah. know? And look at your hands and close your eyes and yeah. think of what you're going to say to her. Well, let me hear you. What did you just tell her? I love you. Oh, how beautiful. So long, Matt. Bye. Give my best love to your guardian angel. All right. All right. So long, Matt. Bye. A few years ago, I got a letter from that boy's mother. And it was from New York City, but she said my boy moved to central california and she he's still a big fan of the candid camera show and then over labor day when my dad died the phone rang and it was that boy matt where are you come on up man i mean to stick you in the back of the room there matt come on <laughs> on behalf of my family and all my dad's friends we want to thank you so much for those wonderful memories what would do you have any to add to that? It's hard to top an act like that, Matt. But oh, what are your memories of that moment? I, I, I'm very close to my pa my family, and my parents, and my best memory was you got to remember this was a New York City public school where this took place, and as we were, my mother came to the school to walk me home, and as we're walking home, my mother says, "How was school that day?" And I say, "Oh, it was it was great. I talked to some strange man in the library." And New York City, my mother's lights go on. We turn right back around. And she goes up to my teacher. She says, my son says that he was in the library talking to some strange man. What's going on here? And the teacher looks around. She goes, it's candid camera. And after that, you know, everything was uh, fine. And, uh, you know, I have a little, uh, got the chunky candy bars, got the luggage. Uh, Five-year-old girls were crazy for me for about a week. I think I peaked at the age of five, and uh, I think that I was a good judge of character that day, and I think he was a sweet man, he was a kind man, and uh, he gave me some memories that I'll remember for a very long time, and I'd like to thank him. And Take good care of that guardian angel. I will. <laughs>